Hello, my name is Jimmy Vegas, and in this mini tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can quickly and easily make a day to night cycle. Okay, so Unity 5 uh, has something called a directional light. So, if you have your scene and you don't have a directional light in, um, if you've removed it for whatever reason, when you start up a new scene, it comes in um, by default. Uh, you can go to Game Object, uh, Light, and Directional Light. I already have one here. Um, you do need directional light for this, no other light will work in the same way. Um, so if you set your directional light position of where you want it to be, um, I'm just going to put on the Y axis 20, double click to focus, so mine is currently right there. Right, you need to set the rotation um, X as 90, start off with, and Y as 0. Uh, color, you can by default it's this sort of light pink color, but you can put whatever color you want for this one. Um, if you've got, say, I don't know, a red sun, then have it red. If you've just got normal sun, then just keep it as it is. Next thing you need to do is game object, light, and another directional light. And now in the hierarchy, couple them together. So as this one becomes the child, this one. And now what you need to do is set this one as the direct opposite of this one, which is fairly easy. So over here on your rotation, I'm going to zero it all out so I can see quite easily what's what. And then I'm going to set the X, sorry, the, uh, the Y to 180 and the Z or Z to 180 as well. So now you can see the two are opposite each other. Okay, the second one we need to set as a darker colour, so we'll set this as uh, about there, sort of a dark brownish. Okay, that looks fine. Okay, so now you have your sun and technically moon set up. So down here in your script, uh, in your assets folder, we need to, uh, if you're not creating a scroll, folder called script, I have just to keep things a bit easier. In this folder, right click, create, and JavaScript. And we'll call this just day night. So now double click to open it up. So if you've used scripts before in Unity, uh, you should know that it opens up in a little program called MonoDevelop. Uh, MonoDevelop, if you don't know what it is, it's just a quick little program which you can write your scripts in to cut a long story short. So when it opens up, you should be presented when it opens up. A bit slow. Apologies, let me just quickly get rid of all these. Okay. So you should be presented with this, these few little statements here. You just need to get rid of them, just delete everything. I only have uh, one tab open now. You may have multiple tabs open if you're using different scripts, but I just want this one open for now. So the first line, we need to set a variable. So we'll put var, and we need to call our variable something which means something to us. So we'll call it cycle mins and then we need to set it as a float because it will not be a whole number well, I suppose it could be a whole number if you wanted it to be a whole number but ideally you don't want it to be a whole number next we need to set a variable for um, let's see we need to we need to set a variable for our actual calculation so what we'll do is we'll put cycle calc. We'll also have this as float. Now there is literally no way that this variable can be um, an integer. You can set the first one, the cycle mins, to an integer if you want to. But at this point I don't think it makes too much of a difference. So now we're going to set a line which we can define how long we want our day-night cycle to last.
So to do that, we do cycle min, uh, cycle mins, sorry, equals, and I'm going to set this to 15. So we want our day night cycle to last 15 minutes. So then we need to do cycle calc and put this equal to, now this is a specific formula that we use here, 0 0.1 divided by cycle mins multiplied by minus 1. And all that does is just converts it into a format that we can use when we write this function now. So we put function, update, and remember, cap sensitive. So it's a lowercase f and a capital U. Open curly bracket. Next line down, we want to transform dot rotate. Remember, it's a capital R and rotate. Zero by zero. And then we want to put in cycle calc. And then finally, space dot world. And I've forgotten to put in the semicolon at the end of that line just there. We would have got an error if we'd have tried to run it. And then close curly bracket. So you should have this set like that. You choose here how long you want your cycle to last. So I'm going to save that. Head back to Unity. And then I'm going to drag this onto our first directional light just here. So now when we press play, let's have a look around for our sun somewhere in the sky. So it's there. You can't really tell at the moment, but it is actually moving. So to show you it moving, I'm actually going to reduce the cycle mins to just one for now and save. So now my entire cycle will last just one minute. So if we look up, we should be able to see that moving quite well. So if we look over to the horizon, just wait a minute, we'll be able to see our sun is setting. And now we're in night time. As you can see, you can just about see the light from our moon there. But our moon doesn't really cast shadows. Well, that's not to worry. Okay, so I'm just going to pull, uh, stop that there. Head back to the cycle mins. And I'm going to put that as, let's say, for now. Five, so it's a little bit longer. Back into Unity. Press play. And then hopefully, if we have done it all right, we should be able to see shadows changing. You see that just down there? And they are slowly moving. So if you want to change it a little bit more, you can kind of um, alter the uh, rotation a little bit. So let's play around with the rotation. Let's put that as maybe, I don't want to change that one. Let's change the X to just 45 and press play. Won't make too much of a difference at the moment. As you can see, the shadows do still change. Because our oops, don't want to close it, do we? It's a bit silly. So our sun is still moving. And so our shadows move in relation to the sun. So let's stop that there. So that script right there, set to 15, will make your cycle last 15 minutes. If you want it to last 20 minutes, an hour, whatever you want, you set this number to however many however many minutes you would like it to run for. Okay, so that's the end of this tutorial. Like I say, it's a really easy way of um, 
a day-night cycle. There are different ways of doing it. There are more, are more complex ways, um, working with skyboxes or whatever. Uh, this is just a really quick and simple way that you'd be able to use just to make things that little easier and give it a little more realism into your game. So, um, thank you very much for watching, and if you want to check out the other videos on my channel, uh, there's plenty of things to learn about Unity and Unreal Engine too. Uh, so yeah, give it a go, and if you fancy it, just hit subscribe. Uh, so thanks very much for watching.